Talons are largest and most prominent on carnivorous birds, such as hawks, eagles, and owls. These large hooked claws are the primary hunting tool for these birds, and they allow them to clench onto and tear into food. However, without a powerful grip strength, these talons are rendered useless for seizing prey and having a successful hunt. Take the osprey for example, who catches fish by plunging into the water and carrying it away to a nearby telephone pole or tall tree. Even though many times they seem to try and hold on to too big of a fish, they're said to be successful 9 out of 10 times. This is only possible because the osprey's grip strength allows them to carry up to 40% of their own body weight. However, this only scratches the surface of the strength held by other birds of prey. Let's go over the top 5 strongest grip strengths amongst birds based on PSI, which is pounds per square inch. For reference, a human's grip strength is around 100 PSI. Although the numbers you are about to hear are not scientifically proven, they are an average from several references and help to illustrate the extent of power within these birds. So without further ado, let's get right to it. Bald eagles have a grip strength of 400 PSI. Although some reports say the bald eagle's grip strength can be 700, 800, and even 1000 PSI, credible sources like HawkQuest, an environmental education nonprofit in Colorado, measured the grip strength of the bald eagle and found that it is closer to 300 to 400 PSI. Since the bald eagle hunts by picking dead or dying fish floating near the surface of the water, the bald eagle does not really need substantial talon strength or pressing power to pick up and transport dead or dying fish. Great horned owls have a grip strength of 500 PSI. As an American, it was hard for me to believe that great horned owls are stronger than bald eagles, mostly because of the bald eagle's perception in pop culture media. However, owls are ferocious birds that can be much stronger than most eagles. In a fight between the two raptors, you would want to bet on the owl. Philippine eagles have a grip strength of 525 PSI. Otherwise known as the monkey-eating eagle, the Philippine eagle is the largest eagle in the world in terms of length and wing surface. Their average height is 3 feet from the tip of its crown feathers to its tail. They have blue-gray eyes that see 8 times more clearly than humans, and sharp powerful talons to rip through their prey. From their description alone, you can see why they are such strong birds. Golden Eagles have a grip strength of around 550 PSI. Golden Eagles are North America's largest bird of prey and the national bird of Mexico. Like the Great Horned Owl, Philippine Eagle, and their number one spot on this list, the Golden Eagle has such a strong grip strength because they hunt small and medium-sized live animals that they must quickly subdue and kill before they exert damage on the hunter. These birds of prey kill by pressing their talons into their prey, causing internal damage that results in death. Finally, Harpy Eagles have a grip strength of 600 PSI. Some reports can put the Golden Eagles grip strength over the Harpy Eagles, but since Harpy Eagles are considered the most powerful bird in the world, I think they deserve the number one spot on this list. Harpy Eagles have an average height of 3 to 3.5 three feet and an average wingspan of 6 to 7 feet. To put this into perspective, that's about as tall as the average 3 year old and as wide as a king size bed. They have 3 to 4 inch long claws, which are the same length as a grizzly bear's claws. If this wasn't enough for you to respect this bird's strength, the grip strength of 600 PSI is more than enough to crush the human skull and squash your brain like a grape. If you made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Before I end it off however, I wanted to address the creation of this video. As some of y'all know, this is a remake of a video I posted a while ago. I decided to take that video down and edit the content inside because the information originally posted was inconsistent and didn't place the birds in the correct order. I went through a lot of sources and it was difficult for me to understand the true grip strengths of some birds. So thank you to all of those for pointing that out to me and I hope you find this list more accurate. But anyways, have a great day and I'll see y'all in the next video.